Hi, so one of my viewers, Mr. Ashfaq Ahmad, requested me to make a video on how to find number of factors of any given number. So first we'll take example and then we will derive a generalized formula. So suppose if we want to find how many factors does number 12 have. So first we will do the prime factorization. It's an even number, so it will be divisible by 2 and then this 6 will again be divisible by 2 and this 3 will be divisible by 3 one time. So if I want to write 12 as the product of its prime factors it will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 or you can write it as 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3. Okay so this is the representation of 12 in terms of its prime factors and if we talk about all the possible factors of 12 how do we find them? So in the list of prime factors of 12, we have 2 and then we have 3. There are total 2 2's in the list of prime factors and there is only 1 3 in the list of prime factors of 12. So when you are writing all the factors of 12, you have few choices. Either you can take 0 2 and 0 3 and if you take 0 2 and 0 3, you are actually talking about 2 to the power 0 multiplied by 3 to the power 0 that is equal to 1 and 1 is a factor of 12. Then you can take 1 2 and 0 3's. Then you are actually talking about 2 to the power 1 multiplied by 3 to the power 0 and that will be equal to 2. This 2 is also a factor of 12 and then you have a choice where you can take 2 2's and 0 3's. Then you are actually talking about 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 0 that is equal to 4 and again you can take 0 2's and 1 3 then the factor will be 2 to the power 0 multiplied by 3 to the power 1 that is 3 and then you can take 1 2 and 1 3 then the factor will be 2 to the power 1 multiplied by 3 to the power 1 that is equal to 6 and then you can take 2 2's and 1 3 and in that case the number you will get will be 2 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 1 that is 4 multiplied by 3 12. So all these numbers 1 2 4 3 6 and 12 all these numbers are factors of 12 and there is no other natural number which is a factor of 12. So we have got total 6 factors for this number 12 right here we have 2 to the power 2 where 2 is a prime number and this 2 is the number of times this 2 appears in the list of prime factors for 12. So you actually have three options for this 2. You can take 2 0 times or you can take 2 once or you can take 2 2 times and for this 3 you have total 2 options that is you can take this 3 0 times or you can take it 1 times. So actually you have total 3 multiplied by 2 that is 6 options for all these prime numbers to appear in any factor of the given number 12 and these 6 options will give you these different factors for the number 12. So you can see if you have a number x which is represented as the product of prime numbers where prime number 1 appears a times and prime number 2 appears b times and prime number 3 appears c times and prime number 4 appears d times then the number of factors of x will be equal to a plus 1 multiplied by b plus 1 multiplied by c plus 1 multiplied by d plus 1 and you need not have only four prime numbers you can have fifth prime number also and which appears suppose e times then to find the number of factors of x you have to multiply it by e plus 1. See when you have p1 to the power a you actually have a plus 1 choices for p1. p1 can appear zero times, once, twice, thrice and maximum it can appear a times so you will have total a plus 1 choices for p1, b plus 1 choices for p2, c plus 1 choices for p3 and so on and that is why the number of factors will be number of possible options for the first prime multiplied by the second prime multiplied by the third prime multiplied by the fourth prime and this list can go on. So now let us keep this formula and check this with one more example. Suppose I want to check how many factors does the number 30 have. So it's an even number so can be divided with 
2, then we get 15. This 15 can be divided by 3, and then we get 5, and this 5 can be divided by 5 once. So this 30 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So when we try to find all the factors of 30, we can have two options for the powers of 2, 0 or 1. We have two options for the power of 3, 0 and 1 again. We have two options for the power of 5 as well, 2 and 1 again. So we should have total 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, that is 8 factors for 30. And now let us try to list them. When all the powers are 0, we will have 2 to the power 0 multiplied by 3 to the power 0 multiplied by 5 to the power 0, that is 1. And when 2 have power 1 and other 2 prime numbers have power 0, then we will get 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 0 multiplied by 5 to the power 0, that is 2. And then we can have 0 power for 2, 1 for 3 and 0 for 5. So this will be 2 to the power 0 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 to the power 0 and this will be equal to 3. And similarly we can have this combination. So this will be equal to 5. And similarly we can have this combination. Then this will be equal to 6. And then we can have this combination. So this will be equal to 10. And then we can have this combination and this will be equal to 15 and finally we can have this combination then this will be equal to 30. So here again we have total 8 factors for 30 and that is what we found when we calculated using this formula. So this is how you can find the total number of factors of any given number. So that's all for this video and for many many more interesting videos keep watching MathMath, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.